Greetings and aloha. What's going on? It's Mike from LiveMySF.com. I am back here at Wong Sai Resort. This time I'm in bungalow number three, which I actually kind of like. Last time I was in bungalow number four. And yes, it's closer to the beach, but it's also much closer to the restaurant over there. And while my voice absolutely carries and that sort of thing. So you know what? I really should probably be in that one. Then I would be really isolated and I could do live streams uh, outdoors without bothering other people. I don't know if I'll move and do that, but I'm afraid that I'm bothering those people over there when I do my outdoor discussions. So maybe I'll go check that out. But for right now, what I wanted to show you guys is I have this little attachment, which I believe is going to allow me to attach it to the motorbike and then put the phone right here. So I'm going to take this and cruise on the motorbike, just cruise over to 7-Eleven basically. But um, with that said, we're going for a little bit of a ride and you get to join me. So let's do this. And as you can see, I have no gimbal, but I don't care because I'm living a dream. And I do have my mask when I get ready. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the front desk and I'm gonna pay them another 700 bucks. I feel like staying here for one more night because it was great. I actually ate right over there on that table. Last night I had a pizza. Their pizza was amazing from the Wong Sai restaurant. And I didn't even realize that pizzas were 10% off last night. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So while not incredibly blue green water like basically the ocean is, this is still really neat. And it runs right behind my little bungalow over there. And let me tell you something, yeah, the walls are concrete and they're thick, but I still heard a lot of frogs here last night. It was a really cool way to fall asleep. So anyway, now normally if I have flip-ups and I do this, but I'm basically riding the motorbike. So therefore, come in here. You know, there's two people that I know. Hello, um, am. Can stay one more night? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, yep. Ah, so she bring me water already. Okay. Yeah, so cup for my cup. Okay, cup for my cup. M is basically how she pronounced pronounced her name. But she, uh, so this little guy here, have you guys ever seen Side Trip Life? This is the, uh, this is the infamous okay, bird. Okay, okay. Sorry, Kaap. Sawadika. 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 Kunchurai, Kaap. Sawadika. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Hello. How are you? Okay, this is too awesome. <laughs> Did you hear that? He's like laughing at me. Ha 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 ha. Hello. Hello, how are you? I like you. Sawadika. Hello. Hello. Okay, that's I I could literally be there all day. <laughs> that's just that's amazing. So anyway, that entertains me. I wondered what bird, I thought, oh, some na bird naturally whistles like, like you're saying, oh, look, a pretty girl. But clearly it's learned how to do that. And of course, that bird is more bilingual than I am because clearly it speaks Thai and English. Satika. So I think it believes it's female. And uh, these are what's referred to as, I believe... Um, I 
can't remember what kind of bungalows these are, these are referred to as, but they're very Thai style up on, uh, up on pillars like that. I think they're totally gorgeous. Um, and as you might guess, nobody's in them. <laughs> um, but anyway. Oh, so I was, I don't know if my dad watches my videos. I was talking to my dad this morning and I said, yeah, there's like five people outside my door raking leaves because of all the leaves that fell over the night. This is like how many leaves fall in a given night. And we have a word in New England where we used to rake leaves a whole lot when this many leaves would fall on the ground overnight. Or we have a phrase, and that phrase is, no leaves fell last night. <laughs> Yet they will come out here and they will rake these into a pile, much like over there, or over there. And we'll rake these into piles so that there's no leaves on the grounds. And, uh, and that just is amazing to me. This place is very, very impressive. Again, this is the Wang Sai Resort. I will show you the Wang Sai Resort to the beach, which is Koma. Koma is that basically that isthmus that uh, jumps out, jaunts, jaunts out. This is my bike. I want to thank so far the uh, the Kate Rental Agency. They seem to be pretty good, and uh, this one's nice because, well, for one, it's new. It's in excellent condition. The brakes are great. They're not soft at all, and it's got keyless entry. So that's pretty cool. But right, what I'm going to do now is I am going to see how I'm going to attach this little baby, this one right here, and then put the phone inside of here. And I'm going to do it. Okay, cool. This is like a rubber cover right here. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm going to stop this and put the phone in there. And then we are off to go for a ride. Basically just down here. I'm going to go to... Oh, that's kind of ridiculous. All right, well then we're gonna go for a little bit more of a ride and I'll just come back to the family mart. Now it does say that there's gonna be thunder showers around noon today. Um, and I would actually tend to agree that clouds are, uh, the sky is pretty gray. And uh, what's interesting is uh, the part of this road, I mean, it's really good. And then there's this part that's coming up. And the thing that concerned me last time is that I had to leave about 4.30 in the morning and go to the, go to catch my boat at like 5.30. And it was just stopping raining at about 4, 4.30. And I was like, oh man, this will be like really muddy. Now this road here where I'm at right now, that part was not muddy. But what I was concerned about is that in the distance there was that hill. And I'm like, okay, there's a possibility that this silly place this is going to be like really slippery and I'm not going to be able to get the darn motorbike up the hill. But I was pleasantly surprised. This, this soil is so hard packed that when it got wet, and I'm talking about probably an hour and a half of pretty solid, steady, intense southern, southeast Asia rain. Um, and then about another half hour of drizzle after that. Um, and there's a guy behind me that I hear and he's probably going to pass me here pretty soon. Believe it or not, I'm actually used to driving on the left-hand side of the road. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, I made it up that hill uh, very easily, actually, as did the car behind me. And even with mud and that sort of thing, it wasn't that slick. So that was good to know because certainly at five in the morning, I'm like, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to basically, uh, I'm gonna have to forfeit. Now, as you can see this sign that says here for viewpoint, and it also says 360 bar. 360 bar is pretty well known on the island 
But again, <laughs> nothing is nothing is normal because of COVID. So tell you what, let's take a take a look up here, and you can see the kind of hills that are available in Topangan. Uh, and you can also see how so many places are like completely dead. Um, that's the viewpoint and also the 360 bar. So I'm going to cruise over here. And uh, so this is like a bar that pretty much everyone knows about on the island and is presumably like fairly popular, especially like for sunset. There's obviously 360 you can see all around. Um, but the last time I was here, and again, the last time I was here, it was in fact during the day. Um, and for all I know, this is a nighttime bar only. Um, but I mean, this is pretty rugged. <laughs> I mean, but again, what's interesting about this soil is it's not muddy. It's like very hard packed. And uh, obviously they've got significant rain because it is Southeast Asia. Obviously they've got significant rain since I was here last. Um, but the, there's not been a lot of runoff. So that's good. But um, anyway, I'll, I'll take you up to this 360 bar because I think people have probably heard of it. and uh, Or haven't. Um, or are curious what like, you know, hey Mike, what are the popular bars like there now that it's uh, Now that it's COVID and uh, well, This is a little bit rockier than last time a little bit rougher But I do remember this rebar from last time Now what's interesting here on the left, let me see if I can swing the camera over. I think you probably saw it is that this place for sale or for rent, but also like totally abandoned, tons of tons of graffiti. Uh, I often thought, well, that's sort of interesting. Now I'm heading to the, the viewpoint slash 360 bar. The, the motorbike is lugging a little bit. So what I try and do is I try and keep it up to speed, especially when I'm going up kind of an incline like this. Um, it's got 12,000 kilometers on it, but it's also in very good condition, very new. Um, and if you, so I think you, so I think I took a shot of it. It's uh, it's keyless. So again, treehouse over there. Viewpoint slash 360 bar. It's afraid of that. So hold on, let me fix the camera. Let me get this installed. Now this is not 360 bar. It's the street like right to the left, of the street, <laughs> the little alley. But I thought this, I thought this wall was really cool. And actually, uh, I don't have the gimbal with me, but I thought it would be really neat to like drive along that thing and just kind of get some footage. I'll tell you something, it looks a lot shinier than when I was here three weeks ago. Um, but that just could be the way the sun's hitting it. But, uh, okay, let's take a look at this and then I'll show you. But I think that's kind of neat looking, right? And again, I know we're vibrating and I don't have my gimbal. It would be neat if I could like attach the gimbal to this motorbike, but it's quite large. Anyway, I gotta tell you, for as graffiti goes, I think that looks pretty awesome. Um, I don't know what the angle of this was. So I'm not sure whether you were able to see above the tree line and able to see sort of the mountains over there. Um, but So this is the first time I've actually ridden a 150. Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is not the first time. Normally though, I do rent 125s and this is the 150. So this is like the road that you're normally taking up to a bar. So, you know, this reeks of like, let me get a designated driver. Um, because I can't imagine well, again, not everyone drinks the way I used to drink, which is excessively, and therefore driving was impossible, let alone unadvisable. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would definitely encourage you to take a sober driver to this place. So this is 360 bar as, long, as well as the viewpoint right here. And uh, this was the exact experience that I had the last time I was here, which was it was a completely empty. And... Uh, Totally closed off, and then if you go down there and you go up to the left, then you go up the stairs that basically goes up to a, um, well, I'll tell you what. Since I'm here, I will show you guys, because potentially some of you have been to 360 Bar. That beep was my motorbike just basically locking, which I appreciate. Now, the view is <laughs> um, amazing. And this camera does not do it justice at all. And I would submit to you, unless I had a 16K camera, <laughs> uh, nothing would do this view justice. This is absolutely gorgeous. 
But anyway, this is this is 360 bar. Now, let's see. If you read this message, that, that means viewpoint not far. All territory of 360 bar is private property. Oh, okay, fair enough. So that's private property, 360 bar. And he's actually going away. He's also just yelling at me. But anyway, I'm not going to cause a ruckus. They're potentially open in the evening. I'll find out later. But uh, it also said that viewpoint was passed there. Um, but I have a feeling, again, as mentioned, this is probably private property. So that's fine. I'm certainly not here to get a drink, let alone a something to eat. So, um, so anyway, so I'm going to turn around, head down, but I wanted to show you guys this. And I'm basically just going to head back to, I'm going to have a really super lazy day today. I'm going to head back to, that's kind of cool. See you soon. I'm going to head down to, uh, I'm just going to kind of hang out and I anticipate it raining soon. And so therefore I'm going to basically just hang out on my balcony and, uh, well, I'm also going to go to the beach and then I'm going to come back and hang out on the balcony. And then from there, I'm going to hang out back on the beach and I'm going to catch sunset. And then I'm going to hang out back on the balcony. You know, so we got a pretty big day going on. This is what it's like to, uh, this is my version of retirement sometimes. Stand up, push this button one time. There we go. Then turn the bike on and start. All right. I am now an expert at keyless motorbikes. Uh, you can't tell the steepness of this, can you? Um, it's steep. <laughs> right now I'm going nine kilometers an hour. Um, I have both of the brakes applied pretty intensely. Now, obviously, I could completely stop if I had to. Um, or maybe not obviously, but I thought I'd let you know that. That's kind of like one of the things that I do right before I rent a motorbike, is that I see what happens when I completely, like, yank on the brakes so hard that, like, my fingers and palm almost hurts. Make sure I can stop the motorbike to the best of my ability so but anyway yeah this is not uh i wonder what people that drink regularly and come to this bar call this do they call this like <laughs> sober challenge or <laughs> uh, let me all right cool this is certainly an interesting building that's for sure i wonder if anyone's going to do anything there. hey But it's an interesting place to stop. And I can tell you the neat thing about it is, I mean, yeah, it's got graffiti all over it. But I, again, it, I wonder if like 360 bar aren't the people that put the, put the graffiti there. Clearly it's private property, but. Um, oh, hold on. Okay, so it's sort of an interesting thing back there. Now, to be fair, look, there's plenty of places like that in the United States. Um, they just seem to be more interesting here. <laughs> either more interesting here in Thailand or more interesting in Southeast Asia or basically more interesting when I'm in a country that's not mine. The thing about it being uh, here in Thailand and especially, you know, uh, Koh Phangan is the fact that I'm in a wicked tourist area. Like, I mean, all of the people that we've seen passing by, they've been tourists, right? And um, now I did go off to the left here before. Um, well, I'll do it again. <laughs> How's that? Um, because I was just about to say, I did go off to the left here, but I don't remember it being anything sort of really interesting. Um, but actually, now that I think about that, I believe what's all the way up here is like a mini, super mini village. I think there might even be a wad up here, a temple up here, sorry. Um, it's funny, uh, uh, Dana, the guy that uh, is the host of Bangkok Strange that I do Bangkok Strange with, um, I was saying the word Wat to his wife, and she's like, no, 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 you can't mix Thai and English. She's like, you mean temple? I'm like, yes, temple. That's true. Yes, I have been here before. Absolutely. And this is a, this is kind of like a temple thingy up here. So let me show it to you, because I actually do have a mask. And considering that car went up there, I have in, I have no issue riding my motorbike up here. Last time I parked it down at the bottom and didn't ride up here. But seeing that car motivated me to do so and there's motorbike parking right there so so this is pretty awesome actually it's more like a resort sort of area i like little bungalows they've got you know what's really interesting there's a lot of rope swings here on copanya um anyway this is what's at the top of this i believe that's the lobby over there 
and uh, unit five through seven is obviously there and there, and then they have the pagoda up there, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, and I'll tell you right now, there are 1,001 places like this all over the island, and I dig it. And I have only probably seen about 25% uh, of the roads, let alone, um, can you tell how steep this is? Probably not. I don't have like steep vision. Um, and just so you know, if the camera falls in an odd way right now, I am not going to reach for it and fix it. <laughs> this is probably a 15, well not anymore, but at the top there's probably about a 15% grade. Um, I guess I could figure out, like considering what I weigh plus what this bike weighs, I weigh probably about 200 pounds, this bike probably weighs three, maybe 400 pounds. So 600 pounds down a 10% grade. If I were to have no brakes and I were to measure my speed at the top and my, my speed at the bottom based on the only force acting upon me being gravity and uh, assuming for the, for the moment that there is zero friction from the bike, i.e. nothing is slowing me down, uh, given that speed delta, I could probably figure out the grade of it. I know the equation to basically say, okay, if I'm starting from zero and again, assuming no friction, um, and the only force acting on me is 9.8 meters per second squared, i.e. gravity, then what will my velocity be at the bottom based on, of course, 9.8 meters per second squared of acceleration and- Ooh, shiny red ball. All right, well, it looks like it's getting grayer and the clouds are coming in. For the most part, my only goal during this little trip was to go to the, uh, family mart so pretty much I've exceeded my expectations as far as I'm concerned and I wanted to take you guys along with me because I thought that would be kind of fun and uh, just kind of upload something of me sort of cruising around here on my little version of um, my little version of Copanyang where I'm at because um, I like it around here and right after I got the motorbike I drove it took me you know I mean I took very very scenic routes and I took the beach and I didn't take the main road kind of thing um, but it took me about a half an hour, probably, from when I picked up the motorbike and got some gas until I got down here at Wong Sai. And the interesting thing about Wong Sai is I, like, literally was just cruising around like I was just doing. And I went down this side road, and I was like, oh, cool, a dirt road. Oh, okay, well, I wonder where this goes. And then I went to the dirt road, and then the dirt road became the concrete road. And I thought, oh, okay, well, civilization. <laughs> and I kind of knew pretty much, you know. I mean, I, my sense of direction is pretty decent. And so I was like, all right, well, eventually, like, this is going to end up at the beach, right? <laughs> um, and so I ended up, obviously, in the parking lot. Or not obviously, but I ended up in the parking lot of Wang Sai. And I said, all right, well, I'm the only one here. So I parked there. Figure I'm not, I'm not bothering anybody. I parked there, and then I walked through, and then I walked in, and I got a massage on the beach. And then I walked back to the lobby, and I said, how much? So 700 baht later. I got a beachfront bungalow. Now these restaurants uh, don't really seem open, but I can tell you that the Wang Sai restaurant at the Wang Sai Resort, their food is really, really good. It's not cheap, um, you know, but it, well, it's cheap as far as U.S. prices. It's not cheap as far as Thai prices. It is pretty cheap though, as far as like getting Western food at a resort on the beach. Um, on so anyway, all right, well, I'm going to go into the family mart. I'm going to get some essentials and then head on back. Park here in the shade. I've actually been a little bit further. You see that path over there? I've actually been down there because to the left is a, um, is a massage place. And they gave me a great massage for 300 baht. So anyway, with that, it's Mike from LiveMyAssOff.com saying, I hope you're living the dream because if you're not living the dream, then there's a high likelihood that you may not wear a helmet every single time you take a motorbike ride, even no matter how short. Additionally, you probably have a motorbike that's not keyless. This is my first keyless motorbike, and I'm feeling pretty awesome. I feel like I'm living the dream. And you may not have a mask that you always keep at the ready, so you can go into a Family Mart or 7-Eleven on the fly. Hello. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ <laughs> Amazing uh, Amazing